Welcome everybody to a brand new Let's Play. My name is Mr. Soap999 and we are playing Splatoon 1 on the on the on the Wii U. I almost said Nintendo Switch. We're playing this on the Wii U. <laughs> the Oct the, Oct the Octarians are coming. No! Oh, uh, hi. Guess I lost my cool for a minute there. I'm Cat Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary Squid Big Splatoon. The look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. The great sapfish that powers and goblins has been squidnapped. Nobody believes me, but it's the work of the Octarians. I just know it. They want revenge for the great turf war of a hundred years ago. I've been keeping an eye on them this whole time, of course. But they stole the great sapfish right out from under my nose. Please, you gotta help me rescue the great sapfish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. Starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid Big Splatoon. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Octarians. What a great fit. For a hand-me-down of Agents 1 and 2. Now, let's go get those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we are back where it all began. We are in Splatoon 1, guys. And we are playing through Octo Valley. Now, I should probably mention this. And it will go without saying. But I've already beaten this game. So this game... This will not be a classic let's play, it's more of a, uh, it's more just like a playthrough, because I've already beaten it, and I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, this is where you find this, this is where you find that. I'm just gonna play this how I want to. So I hope you guys enjoy this here, because I've been feeling very nostalgic for this game, and ever since completing the single player for the Octo Expansion, as well as Octo Valley, I've been I'm having an itch to want to play this game again, so I'm going to be scratching that itch right now. And I hope you guys will want to scratch whatever nostalgic itch that you have as well. Because let me tell you, I am feeling very nostalgic right now. Into here real fast, I think I still remember where the scrolls are. Thankfully, there are no sardines. Sardians already. But yeah, this is um, just a little playthrough. I just wanted to just be nostalgic and just play this again because oh, I missed this game. And then when you go back through it again after playing Splatoon 2, a lot of things just take on a different meaning. Please get up there. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I'm gonna be completing all of the levels. I will be gathering all the sardines, but it's I'm not gonna be like, all right, that is where you find it. No, it's just um, I'm just playing for this just for fun. I'll just be you know, on this nice little trip back to when Agent Three was just a rookie. And before we took on Octavio, and we saved the great Zapfish. And before Cuttlefish became a rapper. <laughs> First one down. So yeah, it's gonna move by rather fast. I I think I can probably get all this done in one day. Pretty sure I can. Pretty sure I can. Since time immemorial, a rare type of electric catfish known as zapfish has been prized by Inkling Society as a source of energy. In fact, the current zapfish that powers Inkopolis is over 100 years old. So they're on the time of the Great Turf War. Nice work, your first mission, bucko. I knew you could do it. And I know I read that out of place, but I don't care. Alright, here we go. But yeah, uh... Thank you for those uh, words of encouragement there, Craig. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna say it real fast. 
But don't let this detract you from um, me saying that oh, this is just a nostalgia trip because I miss this game and I'm probably the only one who probably still has their Wii U. I know a couple of my friends have uh, sold their Wii U's. But yeah, it's a little shame. So yeah, if you never played Splatoon 2, Splatoon 1, and you just got into Splatoon 2 just recently, it's single player. And if you play through the Yoko expansion, this is the guy that kicks your ass in the game. Agent 3 of the Squid Beak Splatoon. But yes, I really miss this game. It took me a while to get used to because I keep trying to jump with B, but I forget that this is a Splatoon 2. So it's very strange indeed. Very strange to be playing this again. Alright, first one here down. Take that dog. Appreciate it, guy. Thanks. So yeah, I'm gonna be collecting a lot of stuff here. However, I will just be just talking here because quite honestly, I want me to be talking like this. I want me to be saying where to find everything. Pretty sure everybody knows where to find everything. And there's tons of those kind of walkthroughs on YouTube. This guy out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, see, so much fun. Yes. Very fun indeed. I won't, I will not be upgrading any of the weapons because a lot of the weapons are very strong. Like, um, let's see, uh, okay, what's this scroll? Oh, yeah, um, Octarians live underneath in kettles. Which, according to the official Splatoon lore, the kettles are actually the remnants of the last human shelters. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I will not be upgrading it. I won't be upgrading my hero shot because the hero shot already fires at a normal splatter shot speed and strength. So there's not really much of a point. It's not like Splatoon 2 where it's, um, where it's very crappy and you have to upgrade it. Got this song. Okay, so <laughs> this song. <clears throat> this song it really reminds me of somebody who drank like a whole bunch of soda, like a carbonated beverage. Or you had like a really big lunch. Just stuck him into a recording booth. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Cause it sounds like he's having a massive burst. Ooh, one of the old specials. Zuka! Destroy Zuka! <laughs> Better attempt the missile. Ah, uh, that would have been so sick if I got a kill from that. <laughs> oh, oh god. Yes, I <laughs> damn music, man. <laughs> it's so freaking funny. Oh, Kasosa, please. Heartburn. Anybody? Please. And this almost concludes the first episode. <laughs> There's a great headway here, and yes, we got it. And with that, the boss kettle is now open. And it's, I can't remember, but I think. Uh, oh, great Octarian weapons. Yeah, little known fact too Marina. Marina from Off the Hook, who is. Who right now in this current game is actually under Octavio's control. 
she designed a lot of yacht weapons. And a lot of stuff that will probably end up killing me. Oh, Aquasaw. Short legs. <laughs> well, actually, I had skinny legs. Yes, I call him skinny legs. Because he's just... just did it make steaks? It's my debut! Yes. God, give us a face Good job, yes. <laughs> but yeah, um, maybe he should have brought. Maybe he should make a memo to himself in the future. Bring a coat, maybe? Yeah, maybe you should bring a coat, dude. <laughs> maybe it would help you. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Or maybe bring a coat that has a Gatling gun on it. Maybe? Because that would help you out a lot. Or, yes, maybe I should bring a Gatling gun. I should probably skid towards you instead of running. That would probably work out a lot. Uh, I don't know. That here. Oh no, I got it. <laughs> I usually screw it up, but this time I didn't. That's great. And there he goes. He should have worked out his legs, damn it. First one guard. Sweet! That's the end of Area 1. Thank you for watching, you guys, and I'll come back next time. We shall be heading. Oh, is this? I forgot. Avast! They have the great Octo Weapons on their side. At any rate, good work, Agent 3. Keep it up. It's a long road to the great Zapfish. Yeah, it's a long road indeed. We have, uh, four more sec. No, no, three more sectors to go. Oi! Remember this? <laughs> yeah, back in Splatoon 1, if you wanted to get some of the uh, good stuff or some of the other exclusive weapons, you had to gather those and then show them to Sheldon. The gate is open. Head to the next area. Yeah, we're heading to the next area. So there's going to be more kettles this time. And I think I can probably open up some of them off camera. I opened up some of them here right now. Let's see if I remember correctly. Yes. This one should be here. Yes. Oh, yes. Getting to play this game again. Yes. Oh, man. I really miss this game a lot. Originally, I was going to be playing Super Mario Sunshine. But unfortunately, I haven't found a um, a good HDMI converter for the cable, so that way my Elgato can uh, record it. Which is unfortunate, but I'll have to um, check back later on with my GameStop if they uh, have it. Alright, let me see. Oh yeah, you guys will never you guys will never be able to see the map because it's on my gamepad. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I got four. Huh. Oh wait, one is right in front. Of me. That's five. And we have one more here. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so you guys, thank you for watching, and I'll come back next time. I'll find the last one. It's right here. <laughs> but yes, guys, thank you for watching. Videos for this playlist as well as some of my other uh, playthroughs will be appearing at the end screen, so be sure to stick around for that. Thank you for watching. Hello there, and thank you for watching. Consider checking out these other awesome videos. Until next time, stay fresh.
Hello there, and thank you for watching. Consider checking out these other awesome videos. Until next time, stay fresh.